a lot of shit just went down in that stream. Um, there was a lot of just blatant, unequivocal, no questions asked, no excuses, blatant anti-Semitism, everything from, uh, Ye literally making shekel jokes about Ben Shapiro, uh, Ye is cucking every single person intentionally on the right right now, uh, as far as I can tell, his tactic is to, uh, try and prove the point that you can be an open Nazi and it doesn't matter, uh, and it seems that in America, at least at the current moment, maybe he might be right about that. However, we have the ability to help change that, don't we? Um, was he trying to fuck that dude's wife? He's trying to piss that guy off, um, by making a joke and then claiming he's not making a joke and it's not funny. It's a power, it's supposed to be a power move and it probably will work. Um, unfortunately, because Kanye West has an enormous personality cult and will literally, if he, he can't, he won't take an L because he will just pretend it never happened and nobody will think twice about it. Um, <laughs> Alex Jones was completely out of his element. He was getting completely run over by Ye. He was getting completely outplayed by Nick Fuentes. Alex Jones sounded desperate and pathetic by comparison which is shocking that you that I would ever be saying that, but uh, it, what can I say? What else can I say? The amount of hate that was platformed today is going to be echoing through our culture for the next couple of years. And it is not gonna be great. I wanted to just think back and, like Nick Fuentes got a ton of propaganda out there Let's think about the propaganda they got out. They got Holocaust denial out today. They got anti-Jewish stereotypes in the form of like literally Der Sturmer style jokes. They got uh, uh, Ye to multiple times say that he loved Hitler and that he loved Nazis. They got Ye to openly state that he is a Nazi. They got Ye to uh, make fun of uh, uh, multiple specific Jewish celebrities and public figures, name them by name. Uh, Ye tweeted out a, uh, a Star of David swastika, uh, which has now, uh, been banned by Elon, but only after Elon Musk, uh, only after Ye tweeted out a photo of Elon Musk with no shirt on where he looks like a big, uh, lumpy potato. So, uh, Ye just fucking flexed on Elon Musk and that is really fucking bad. He publicly shamed Laura Loomer, emphasized where she lived. Yep. I feel, if anything, this will split the right somewhat. The more ca casual Republicans are going to be side-eyeing this for sure. Okay, let's talk real quick about the right. Those of you who are longtime viewers of my channel will remember that I've, I've said this a hundred times. I, in comparing left-wing and right-wing infighting, right-wingers do infight a lot. Uh, lefties and right-wingers infight all the time for their own reasons, but right-wingers, when they infight, they finish the job. And what I mean by that is they destroy people. Whenever right, the reason why right-wing infighting doesn't look like left-wing infighting, on the left, people fight around and they have these battles and they have these arguments and they throw shit back and forth at each other and it keeps going on because they don't fucking kill each other. Very rarely. Occasionally, when you get a leftist, like a Stalin type, they'll do purges because they're a fascist. They are literally a fascist. Um, uh, but, but on the right, there are purges. This happens all the time. They destroy people, they cancel them into the ground, and they forget about it. And notice, do you guys remember, hold on, let me just, let me just rem take, let's take a time portal back in time. Do you guys remember all of the right-wingers who were like shit-talking Donald Trump before Donald Trump had his rise to fame and then became the president? And then every single Republican all of a sudden was sucking Trump's dick at every moment? Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember when, uh, when fucking, uh, Ben Shapiro tried to be like, yeah, well, you know, I don't like Trump's rough edges. Yeah, Ben Shapiro was one of those people. He was one of those people who didn't think Trump was good and preferred Ted Cruz. Is Ye j just the canary in the coal mine for right-wingers going mask off? No. Ye is not the canary in the coal mine. Ye is the leader right now. 
Ye is the one pushing the envelope. Ye is using his status as a cultural icon to tell people to take the mask off. Ye is inciting uh, a, a right-wing upsurge. He is, no, not, not a right-wing upsurge, a Nazi upsurge. Ye is not a canary in a coal mine. Ye is the driving force right now. He is, as he said in his own worms, words, the battering ram. Republicans, when they infight, they finish the job. They purge the other faction or they make them submit. That is how it always goes. Right-wingers, their infighting is violent. Their, right, their infighting involves ruining people's careers. Right-wingers infighting uh, is, is, is messy, bloody, and finished quickly. What we are witnessing tonight was a is a the incitement of a massive right wing purge. Ye is trying to force the hand of Republicans to jump over to the increasingly deranged uh, MAGA anti Jewish anti LGBT movement. That is what it is. That is. Everything about today was all about that. Him naming specific people, him pushing them to take a side on it. Yeah, uh, Ari, uh, the, the guy on there, uh, I think his name is uh, Ali, Ali, something. Yeah, Ali, Ali something. Um, Ali said that they were shattering the Overton window tonight. That's what they're trying to do. They are forcing an acceleration. And by the looks of it, they are having some success. Of course, we're going to have to spend the next couple of days analyzing the fallout from this. Ari Alexander, the stop the steal guy. That's him. Thank you. Why is it always insane billionaire divorced dads? As it turns out, being a billionaire gives you a lot of power. It was all a big shit test. And if you lost, you are on some weirdos manifesto. You're on a lot of weirdos manifestos. Millions of people tuned into this live today. Millions of new people were just introduced to explicit Holocaust denial, to the idea that it is okay to love Nazis, that it is okay to openly love Hitler. This is not good. And people, my lovely imps, I need you to take this seriously. I need you. I, I need you to take this seriously. Please understand. We are not doomed. However, we have to get real. Lefties have to fucking get real. We have to be re ready and willing to take action to defend ourselves, to protect ourselves, and to fight back against fascism, against Nazism, which is rising right now in America. And we have witnessed over the course of November, it's been one fucking month of just constant acceleration, a shooting, acceleration, yay, going full mask off, acceleration. Um... This whole thing is sad and disturbing. It it should be upsetting. And we need to take it as a this is this is our this is our very very late. This is like the third wake up call. You know how I've been screaming about this shit on my channel for two and a half years. Those of you who are been around forever, some of you are still in chat. Some of you from the from the old school days. You old school OG imps. You know I've been banging this drum for a long time. I've been warning about the rise of anti semitism, the rise of transphobia, the rise of homophobia, the rise of Christian nationalism. This was a Christian nationalist fever dream. And by the way, Christian nationalism and hardcore anti-Semitism go like, like this. They're like peas in a pod. I don't know where it's going to go from here. There's a lot of ways it can go from here. But I can say my prediction is that it's not going well for Elon Musk. I wonder. I wonder if there's anything. I wonder if there's anywhere we can go check and see how people are. What pe Oh, you know where we can check? Let's go. Let's go take a look at Elon's. Let's go take a look at Elon's comments, shall we? Let's take a quick second. Oh my god. You asked Kanye for tweeting the symbol for realism. It's an ancient alien's religion. Amnesty begins next week. When are you going to do this? People tweeting a pathetic meme. Apparently, censorship is cool when Elon does it. Bro, don't let it happen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did you do this, man? 
Where's the free speech? Not unmuting that. Nope, not doing that. Oh God. We were we are waiting for amnesty. Do users have to submit a request for that? They're getting fucking pissed. Final straw, I'm now leaving Twitter. So long, partner. Oh, they're not taking it well. Free speech for all or for none? Bad look. Which of the incidents got Ye suspended, huh? Skulls. I'm just scrolling. I'm just live scrolling through the comments on here. Nuance, bro. This ain't it. Hey, look, we're seeing some familiar names in here. What does this mean? It means that there are limits to free speech. A little toddler flex, that's adorable. You think that's finding out 12 hours? They're roasting him. They're roasting him in the comments. Oh yeah, by the way, do you guys remember when um, all the conservatives were saying that, uh, when, remember when all the conservatives were like, oh, you, the lefties, they're, you know, they're mad because Twitter is going to become a free sweet speech zone. And then I said, actually, what's actually going to happen on Twitter is that it's going to drive everyone away because people are going to start seeing swastikas on their timeline. How many fucking swastikas? How many, sorry, how many fucking people do you think saw swastikas on their timeline today? I'm going to guess a couple million. Remember how I said that that's a totally rational reason for most posters to not want to be on a website because most people mo most people don't want to see a fucking swastika? It's already a 4chan board. Oh, here we go. This was earlier today. Jesus taught love, kindness, and forgiveness. I used to think that turning the other cheek was weak and foolish, but I was the fool for not appreciating its profound wisdom. That's why his fafo is a 12-hour suspension. Oh, my God. He's saying that it was a violated a rule against incitement to violence. Ex account will be suspended. It For how long? Violence, which is actual incitement to violence is against the law. Is it going to be a 12-hour one? This is not, he says the, 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 uh, to the, uh, this is not okay. After saying that is fine, this is not. He's failing so hard. Femboy Low Poly says, is this a W for the left or is it an L? Oh, it's an L. Um, it is, no matter how you slice what happened today, this is not a W for the left. Yay, using his platform to funnel an incredible amount of people uh, who are hyped up by his energy and by the nonsense going on directly into the hands of Alex Jones and Nick Fuentes and even worse people than both of them, including him openly saying, I am a Nazi and, and I love Hitler. Those are not good things for the left. Those are not good things for anyone in America. It's not just a matter of the left right now. That is not good for anyone in America. It is so bad. Yeah, exactly. Hate crimes hate crimes have already been spiking and we're only going to see more. And especially so if people if this keeps accelerating, which it is. There's no way that any of these people are slowing down. Oh shit, huge accounts are tweeting, "What happened to Kanye's account to Elon Musk?" Why is Elon Musk canceling Kanye West? Listen to Kanye. Oh my god, the tweets are coming in. These were just a few seconds ago. It's beginning. It's fucking starting. Kanye is over on Truth Social right now. Here's more people defending his Nazi statements. Look at this. Look at this shit. 
he pointed out that bad things can still have a good effect, which is very true. I mean, we all agree that Winston Churchill was good, but he was a massive racist. Nobody mentions that. I think this is also the issue Kanye is tackling. The Jews control the media. You stay quiet. Holy fucking shit. Oh, Nazi Elijah Schaefer. What this yay interview exposed to me is how much we self-censor and how off our priorities are overall as a nation. Like a woman can speak on TV to genocide babies and get applauded, but you did deny a specific past genocide details and you'll be condemned by all. Fragile world. Yeah, the Overton window was completely smashed today. Now as a culture, we have to reevaluate what our values are and that's worth discussing. Holy shit. Tim Pool's an NPC on the mark. It wasn't even the top three genocides. Oh my God. Here's the quote. I'm the battering yet guy, Ram. You guys are the SWAT team that come in afterwards and give the information. Ye knows how he busts open cultural conversation. He, rea he acts as a blunt object to break chunky blocks of cultural thought. Warming. This isn't, by the way, Elijah Schaefer is a fucking Nazi. Holy sh, look at the Nazis. Look at the fucking Nazis. Let people speak and we'll decide for ourselves what we believe. It's all about what hurts or helps the anti-white worldview. What do you think about all the right-wing virtue signaling where people pretend to, or where, where people denounce Kanye West? It's kind of hilarious how the left uh, trained them to think inside of a box just like they do. Did you see Steven Crowder saying Ye had a point? Nope, let's see it. Looks like Steven Crowder chose a side. If you got a link to that, send it to me. I want to see that. Let me see it. Send it to me. Oh, you did? Oh, oh, sorry. I just missed it. Thank you. Here we go. Let's watch this. Here we go. I don't think he hates Jewish people. I think he's been wronged. And yes. I think that he's aiming sometimes a howitzer. He's being imprecise. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, but he's not wrong about everything. Look, is there a conversation to be had? about secular hum humanists with Jewish last names in Hollywood exploiting people uh, in positions of, uh, you know, the performance arts talent. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, that happens in the conservative movement too, behind the scenes. Yeah. People sign contracts where they don't know what they're signing. Yeah, it's true. Is there a disproportional... Uh Steven Crowder saying that there are Jews secretly manipulating people within the conservative movement? I wonder what he could be preparing for. Could it be that perhaps Steven Crowder is letting people know which side of the purge he's going to be on? A disproportionate number of people with Jewish last names in higher banking? That's, that's an argument that can be made. I don't think he hates Jewish people. I think he's been... Four hours ago, the Overton window is smashed and on the ground now. Holy shit. Oh, so now disproportionate representation is worthy of discussion. Now, this is a strange one. I did not expect this. If I was an op, this is Matt Walsh. If I was an optimistic man, I would at least hope that Kanye West's mental breakdown and self-immolation would pursue con would persuade conservatives to stop falling madly in love with every celebrity who says the one thing they agree with. But I'm not an optimistic man. Kanye is a former ar artistic genius who has been unraveling for years now, pushed and prodded along by people who pretended to be in his corner. It's sad to watch. The whole thing is just sad. So you're saying you agree with most of what he's saying, you just don't like how he says it. Huh. Oh, it's because it's because Matt Walsh is 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 paid by Ben Shapiro. Holy shit.
I feel like Kanye might have destroyed DeSantis' chances of getting into the White House. That's what I was saying. That's the whole purpose. There's no chance DeSantis has a chance. N not a shot. Especially if, if, if Ye keeps this up. If Ye keeps this up, it's just gonna it's just gonna be worse for DeSantis, and there's almost no chance that Ye is gonna let up. Holy shit! Yeah, Walsh is in a weird spot. I guess we're gonna find out. I guess we're gonna find out if uh, if Matt Walsh sells out Shapiro. Is it a good thing in the long run that Trump runs? No. Because if when when Trump runs and he is gonna run, barring that he passes away of old age, uh, when Trump runs, he will be empowered with an army of new, fresh, demented Nazis. Wouldn't it be surprise? Would it be surprising if the Daily Wire ends up conspiring to kick out Shapiro? No, it wouldn't be surprising at all. It just depends on when. So you'll notice a huge influx of of message of comments on Tim Tim Pool's video j 2 hours, 3 hours, 3 hours, 3 hours, 3 hours, 2 hours, 4 hours, 1 hour. Let's look through these. First one, watching Alex tell you why people see you as an NPC, then you give an NPC response is epic. The expression on his face as he does it is fucking priceless too. Go, go Alex Stein, weaving in Epstein and Seville. We need to keep those stories alive and growing. Not the biggest Ian fan, but his reaction to Stein getting him that shirt was great. Kanye should be allowed to say whatever he wants, just like a free person. After all is said and done, it's very simple. We still have the First Amendment, so Kanye can say whatever the hell he wants without being persecuted. Tim literally dedicates his life to being in front of a camera. I don't want to be famous. Amazing how Tim and the crew glazed over the fact that a hotel would not accept Ye as a guest. If they do it to him, they'll do it to anyone. Kanye's Net and Yahoo puppet meltdown was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Died when they panned out and you could see the look on Alex Jones' face. A man who has nothing has nothing to lose. Congratulations to Alex Jones for successfully keeping him on for more than 20 minutes. Holy shit. Tim, I hate talking about celebrity culture drama. Also, Tim talks about yay drama all week. Holy fucking shit. Is this the original one? This is just the comments. Oh, wait, this is just the comments about going off. I want to go back and see when Ye walks off. Let's see if we can find it. I want to know. Oh my God. Tim should be a farmer with all of his milking skills. Can't wait for all the Ye themed t-shirts and pins. Gotta milk the 20 minutes of Ye on his podcast for all he can. Wow, Tim's really cashing in on the moment. Jeez, Tim's gonna try and milk this harder than the Dems trying to milk January 6th. Alex got the interview that Tim really wanted. Trying to find someone to milk me the way Tim is milking this. Tim, I respect your work and will still follow your channel as my morning routine, but you cannot milk the 20 minutes you barely held on to any more than a week. Tim will never stop talking about the moment Ye walked off his live show. I thought cats couldn't be milked, but the way Tim is milking Ye's fame makes me believe he would be the man. This time he's really done talking about it, unlike the 50 times he said he would stop. Tim knows his career is in jeopardy. Bombing major interviews, keeping Ian around, come on, bro. 
How much you want to bet Tim's 4 p.m. segment will be about about Alex Jones' interview? It was. Remember, guys, Tim said he doesn't like being in the news or having the attention on him. My respect for Tim is at an all-time low. Tim cast has hit rock bottom. Tim gets called a grifter so much, I don't know how he didn't understand how bad this would look. This is going to age like sour milk, especially after everything Kanye said on Alex Jones today. Are you going to milk a 20-minute interaction this hard? Milking the grift. Tim, as a true grifter, has never been more clear. A glorious fall from the middle. Tim keeps milking this thing. Time to get a dairy cow. Tim grifting this until the end of time. Can't even blame him for milking this. Damn, Tim, you're really showing your true colors. Tim's going down in flames. The grift is strong with this one. Never let a crisis go to waste, says Tim Pool. I knew Tim was going to add this whole yay thing to the... To, to his, I'm coming, I'm from the south side of Chicago, I'm half Asian, I'm always right, shtick. Buckle in, everyone, we're gonna hear about this for a year. I think this was a plan of the original plan, this was part of the original plan when Tim thought he would have the whole show. Well, while you guys are making a documentary as to what you think went wrong with this disaster of an episode, Alex Jones has Ye and Nick Fuentes on his show explaining everything without walking off the show good going guys 256 likes 94 replies holy motherfucking god they are roasting tim pool i don't want to talk about this anymore makes a documentary about it get all those shekels tim I like how people keep saying Tim is milking this thing, but the only thing I keep seeing people talk about is how hard Tim blew it with Kanye. This is the story that keeps going on like the Energizer Bunny. Nick and Milo are exploiting Ye. Now watch my content become completely based around Ye. Tim is done. If I was Tim, I would have been I would have been letting Ye talk over the entire show and reveal things that he that have gotten people deleted for. I don't think there's anyone out there that would sit quiet and let Ye do his thing. You blew the interview, Tim. Go watch Alex Jones. Ye obviously goes through is going through a very hard time. Do not destroy what li what the little dignity he's got left, Tim. Why do we need a whole trailer for another behind-the-scenes episode, lol? I came to the comments to say it feels like they're milking it, but everyone beat me to it. Watching Ye on Alex Jones, there's no way that this would have worked on Tim's show. Tim, keep playing it up. Tim blew it. I just watched Alex Jones do a full interview with Kanye. Tim is out of his league. Kanye just did four-plus hours with Ye. You did a few minutes. Laughing emoji. What have I been telling you? I told you this is going to be the thing. This is going to be fucking everywhere. Keep milking the situation, Tim. It just keeps going. It never stops. Ye should have pulled Tim's stupid beanie off. I just watched Alex Jones' interview with Ye. There is no way Tim Poole could do that interview. I'm glad that Alex got it. Hold on, can I sort these by by uh, newest first? Yeah, we can. These, here we go. These are the fresh ones. The milking to end all milking. People called it. Yay said nothing wrong. How is Tim milking this? Later, Tim Poodle. Look at how evil and stupid Kanye is giving me attention. I think Tim thought Ye was going to clip him over, over the head as he walked past or rip his beanie off. NPC lives matter. Is that Tim's shitbag brother? This shit is weird. I'm not talking about Kanye. This is gay. I'm surprised Tim wants anything to do with Ye after he acted on AJ's show. Oof, dude, praise Hitler. There's one. There's, there's one. We finally found the supportive comment. Hey, Tim, let it go. Someone didn't want to sit in your studio and be lectured to. Get a life and get over it. Lame as fuck, Tim. Tim be mad over the comment section. Tim has lost the plot. Tim is a sellout and not a culture warrior. Hey, there we go. We found one supporting him. 
You're on the wrong side of this, Tim. Don't cave for views. Think of a moment why he might have done what he did. Even if it's the way you think, you must wonder why Kanye thinks what he said. It's a lot deeper than Lamau Jews. These are just Nazis. These are just endless, endless, endless Nazis. Tim, this is why he calls you an NPC. Everything, everything Kanye said was true. You're seriously going to milk this? Tim, the eunuch pool. I got to put milking it in the comments. I bet you are gay. Good old Tim Cash. One more in support. Wow. Only 1K likes with 72,000 views. Oof. NPC Tim. Jeez. Did Lydia prefer Tim milking her th with her this hard with or without wearing the beanie though? How is how is he milking it happen this week? Hey, finally, we've got one, we've got we've got five comments of support for about every 15 that we read. Tim looked like he had PTSD when Ye walked behind him. Stop milking this. Exploiting someone with obvious mental health concerns is trashy low thing to do. Do better, Tim. Tim, so sad. NPC lacking any confidence. Tim, I'd never have Ye back on. Also, Tim, four days later, here's a trailer for a behind-the-scene video of Ye we're going to release, lol. Just call yourself a Democrat. Tim, I'm going to milk this pool. Tim said, er, Tim said uno reverso. Tim's the gift, the grift that keeps on grifting. The grift cast. You all hating on Tim? I bet you're here watching the trailer. I don't know. I don't know if they're watching. The comment section gives me hope. Nobody is buying it. I am absolutely done supporting you. Tim, the MySpace of 2022. Really milking the whole yay thing, Timmy. Oh my god. It never ends. Look, they just keep going. They just keep fucking going. Alex Jones nuked the Timcast today, showing how to not be a douchebag and let people say their piece. AJ disagreed with Ye, and Ye didn't leave because AJ is no cuck. Okay, Ye AJ is a cuck, but... Holy fucking shit. You guys want to see? Oh my fucking god. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can we watch the actual... The one... Yeah, let's go look at the comments on the on the VOD. Well, all right. The Tim the Tim Cast chat. One of the first things in the Tim Cast in the Tim Cast chat is literally just somebody doing anti-Semitism. Fucking incredible. Let's look at the comments. Here, let's look by the most by the most recent. That'll be interesting. I th I loved how Tim was freaking out as Ye walked behind him, thinking he would rip his being off, his beanie off. It's always smug Tim Tool and the Timians here. We know what's going on, Ye. It's just a matter of time. No likes on any of the ones agreeing with Tim Pool here, so far. Can't the man have a platform to explain himself without constant interruptions or counter arguments? He was one of the biggest stars on the planet and is facing an unprecedented attack, blah, 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 blah. Tim Wishy Washy Pool. This is on the stream from a couple days ago. We just wanted to hear Kanye. This guy dropped the ball. One of the worst interviews I've ever watched. Tim Pool doesn't know how to handle or do a podcast, and this is why I don't watch his shit. Did anyone notice how different Ye here, here is on the Alex Jones? This person thinks it was a fake. It was obviously Ye. Tim Pool's owned. Ye got you, Tim. Ye 24. Y'all fuck this up. Don't blame me. The very first law enacted by the Bolsheviks when they took over was death for anti-Semitism. Nazi. Tim, he did say who the problem was. He said the Jews. You just don't want to listen. Another Nazi. Virgin Beanie Boy versus Chad Kanye. 
Upvote for shills and beanies. Downvote for yay. Why doesn't this little chump take off that ridiculous beanie? Come on, come the fuck on, Tim. Get off the fucking fence. Tim Pool is, an, is a quintessential ass clown. Shallow, pretentious, self-conscious, and in way over his head. This kind of looked like a pre-planned character assassination. I've never seen Tim so charged against the guest. So there's a lot of people in here pushing the idea that the Jews told him to do this. This is fucking wild. Tim royally fucked this interview. Imagine getting canceled by Mike Pence. It's okay to generalize all other races, but not the Jews. Another Nazi. Some fans that are a little mad. Tim could be really great if he let go and stopped fearing the PC police. Sit down with Luke for a data dump, dude. Luke gets it. It's a big club and we ain't in it. Yikes. Worst Tim Pool episode yet. Maybe he should let someone name the Jews by asking for names instead of just going, oh well, he's on anti-Semitism. Open mind my ass. Nazi. Tim is probably a Jew. Nazi. This could have been such an epic podcast. Such a wasted opportunity. They removed this from the YouTube search, lol. It's a, it's a VOD. Of course, of course it's unlisted. It's a VOD. Tim fucked up big. Good job, Baldy. God damn, this is some cringe. The, hey, we finally we fa we finally found the supportive comment. It's like a 1 to 20 ratio right now. A 2 hour long show over in 20 minutes. No point in watching. He's afraid to lose his pat platform. A podcast with Tim Pool, Nick Capoy Fuentes, Milo Children can consent Yiannopoulos and Kanye Yetler West. Not even a Jerry Springer could have amassed a bigger group of idiots in one room. AJ interview today. That's how it's done, Timmy. Tim, I had respect for you, but you're obviously a paid shill. Nazi. Episode full of clowns. What does Hitler, Putin, and Kanye have in common? Jesus. Nazi. You're not as great as you think you are. A non-subscriber. Major L, Tim. Major L. Tim literally had a chance of a lifetime, and he blew it. Tim cannot handle having it thrown back in his face. He's a coward. Holy fucking shit they are tearing him apart this has one point okay hold on can i just bring attention to this real quick this has 1.3 million views 50k likes oh isn't there a way that you can still view the down votes hold on there you have it 34,000 dislikes and 50k likes out of 1.3 million views, he only got 50k likes and he got almost as many dislikes as likes. Holy shit.